I know that you are having a hard time right now That everything seems to crumble around you I know that you feel all alone in this world But you have to Put your trust into us and we will help you through Cause we only want what's best, what's best for you I know that you are having trouble believing right now That everything is gonna be, is gonna be alright I know that you feel all alone in this world But you have to put your trust into us And we will help you through Cause we only want what's best what is best for you Alright, I got all of my peppers and berries a bunch of different kinds of crazy berries from Baker's Creek in the ground a lot of them have flea beetle damage and aren't looking like top performing plants but I feel confident that most of them are going to rebound and grow well. So now I'm going to start the third row here and do my ashwagandha and a couple of extra plants I got at the store because none of my eggplants made it. So I've got two different kinds of eggplant and two different types of tomatoes that I didn't grow from seed. So I'm going to put those here and then figure out what else we're going to put in this bed for the rest of the row. I really enjoy planting. Planting is one of my favorite parts of the gardening adventure. It's not too hard on my body. It's a good workout, but it doesn't mess up my messed up back. And if I do it at a comfortable pace, then it doesn't wear me out too much. I just have to listen to my body and know when to take breaks. And I kind of have to take more breaks than most people. Um, one of the things that I've gone back to the doctor about is I've been having some tachycardia symptoms, which are irregular heartbeat. Um, not necessarily during times of strenuous activity, but really just at any point in time in the day, I can have some pretty strange rushings in my heart. I've also been experiencing some neuropathy where I have some pain, tingling, heat in my extremities. And uh, we're gonna have to get seen about that. It's not something that um, can be done at the clinic that I went to. So I'm gonna have to be seen by a cardiologist, have an EKG, echocardiogram, chest X-ray, and um, a stress test done to rule out any heart conditions that I could be having those symptoms from. So, wish me luck. We don't have insurance and um, every one of those tests is extremely expensive and uh, I haven't even found a doctor that will see me without insurance yet. So, crossing my fingers I can find somebody who will at least get me in, figure out what needs to be done and start me on a plan of getting the test done, maybe one at a time if I have to. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to do it just one at a time. I can't afford to do more than one. Even just one at a time is going to be hurting us. So, wish me luck. It's not something I was expecting or wanting to hear from the doctor, but I guess it's good that we're looking at other possibilities besides the other health problems I already have.
You don't have to be smart No need to dress up for me To see that you're a good man You're a good man A real good man When the wind blows And the windows are closing You let the world know What has been has been and There's no use In looking back Going back Wishing back This was the bed that I put the flamethrower to uh, I guess it was last weekend and had pretty good results. It killed most of the weeds. Some stuff came back. I don't know if it if I didn't do it long enough or what, but mostly it worked pretty well. And the ground was pretty hard, so I just used the rake to break it up as best I could. And I'm going to dig a couple of trenches because right now we just have to get these plants in the ground. Um, not overly concerned with anything else besides that so I'm gonna enjoy a fresh strawberry I picked and I'm gonna get back to work Under the apple tree It's gentle, manly Well, you're a good man Quite the best man A real fine man Are you tired? Are you hot? No, not at all. Guys, it's 95 degrees. Feels like 100 right now. So this is the hardest part of the day. So we're gonna quit for a little bit. We're gonna come back out around five, try to get the rest of the tomatoes that we wanted to get planted, planted, and uh, finish watering things in. It's just too, too hot to be out here. So I guess we'll pick this back up later. What do you say? Sounds good. Yeah, we, we don't want anybody getting heat stroke. Stay hydrated, all of you guys. I am the biggest proponent of hydration. You've had what, a half a gallon of water already? Uh, no, I've drank like almost a whole gallon. Whole gallon he drank. I drank a 10 ounce bottle. <laughs> I should probably drink some more. <sighs> we'll be back. What you got there, Ryan? I got some hay. Ooh, that looks like some nice hay. This is premium. Premium. Premium hay. Are you happy? I'm happy. I feel like a real farmer. <laughs> Pre-purchased a hundred bales of this stuff. Nice. Put myself into debt. 
Yay! Yay! Just like a real farmer. <laughs> what we do for our animals. <laughs> Better that crap we were buying. Yes, so true. So we got into a little bit of a time crunch. Ryan had to go get the hay, but we also needed to plant. So I went ahead and planted while he was getting the hay. I didn't expect to finish before he got back, but I did. So I got 55 more tomato plants in the ground, as well as some flowers in between them and some herbs. And I'm planting some basil in between the other tomato plants. And I'm just, I'm just gonna keep planting until I fall down. <laughs> We started a lot of seeds when I was feeling good and had my energy and now they're kind of suffering because I haven't been feeling good. So it's time to get them in the ground where they can be healthy. Well, after doing all this work, I started experiencing severe shortness of breath and syncope where I was almost passing out. So my kind dear Ryan took over. And he's telling me to go in and rest. What do you guys think? I think it's probably a good idea. Ryan took over the watering. I did. You're a good man. Plants are thirsty. They are, especially after getting, uh, not watered, planted. <laughs> so we always water them in really good after planting. I got the artichokes planted back there in the food forest. So that's why he's got the hoses stretched out as far as he can, trying to get them watered as well as the fruit trees because we are in a drought officially here in Georgia. Is it a drought or a heat wave well, or what? Something. It's just really, really hot. and I don't think it's an official drought, but yeah. it's an official drought as far as my land says. Yeah. Um, the plantain is dying in the yard. It's like drying up into a crispy mm. leaf. Did you see that? Nope. So when that happens, you know, there's some serious dehydration going on in the surface of the soil. So we don't want that to happen to our plants that we're intentionally growing. And this has electrolytes. That's what plants crave. Uh, yeah, it's probably got more chlorine than they like. I think the heat's got to us. I think so. So I'm going to let him finish with the watering. And I'm going to go in and plop down on the couch with the boys and drink a lot of water. And think about maybe possibly taking an Epsom salt bath tonight after I get the kids down. What do you think of that, Ryan? I think I'm gonna need it. My body's gonna be aching pretty quick. Go clean yourself, cause you stank. Hey, I thought that was you. <laughs> <laughs> so, thanks guys. Oh, that's funny. I can't see the display screen when I have my glasses on because they're polarized. I see a black screen. I, I didn't know the camera was on. <laughs>